let's talk about this interview featuring Demna on Vogue. So I said recently, um, a while back, that I think that my original thoughts around the whole Vogue control, so around the whole Blenchard and controversy with the teddy bears and the other photo shoot they did with the sketchy court documents or legislation, whatever it was, on the table, I was of the thinking that. Demna's job was never in risk because of the amount of value he brought to caring, the amount of value he brought to Balenciaga, the amount of cultural relevancy he injected back into that brand, and just his real underrated, I think, ability to make clothes. Like, you look at the Vetement era of Demna, which I think is my favorite part of his essential career, unless you also include the first couple of seasons he did at Balenciaga, but essentially, that epic period of Demna was that veteran, was that flipping Vetement. You can see that this guy is a real kind of surgeon when it comes to clothes and reconstructing. Like he knows what he's doing when it comes to pattern cutting and whatnot, and definitely is a master in that regard. So I think that's what really elevated him next level. And obviously, the cuts and the silhouettes, of course, that you think of Balenciaga and his kind of adapting all this big boxy fit that's also quite tailored and chic in his own way was to me sublime so i thought all those things and more brand collaborations all those things as well creating desirable products you know making it an enviable brand just didn't make sense to me why hard-nosed experienced veterans in business at caring regardless of what sector they're in will sit there and say we need to fire him and kowtow to like kind of public pressure to get rid of him for you know doing a racy advert right or doing a sorry not racy a controversial and you know advert that a lot of people probably didn't like because of, of its feature of kids which is understandable but i think if you're a businessman you're definitely going to zoom out a little bit and think hey we can weather this storm and also if we just if we use this opportunity to also rein the guy in and tell him hey this kind of free reign that you had to do what you want and kind of have no kind of guidelines or rules now stops here and also focus on the clothes i think that was always the plan that they had and looking at this interview and read some of the excerpts it definitely appears to be the case so this is an interview because you vogue British Vogue, sorry, so Vogue.co.uk, and it says, Demna on the record, the Blinch Chocolate designer on the brand's controversy and his path forward. So if we scroll down, we'll see a few of the bits of where he's, he's questioned and kind of interviewed. And I think one of the things that I really like here is the answer to this. Uh, so this is, a, this is one. In this question from Vogue, it says the following. The two campaigns that appeared towards the end of last year, Gift Shop and Spring 2023, which appeared within days of each other, sparked a crisis for you in Balenciaga. What was the genesis of this campaign? And what was the creative process and intent? What conversations were happening around it? Um, you'll see he explains what happened around them in terms of the photo shoot and whatnot you can definitely check that out here then this is as follows the spring 2023 campaign was directly inspired by the show that we did last year on wall street in new york city i went to shoot in the typical new york corporate setting emphasizing the idea of power dressing basically suit shooting and ceo style office i saw the example of how the offices could look and approved what type of furniture they would use and what kind of poses the models would do since i'm never in the shoots and the images were presented to me to select the photos i like most out of the selection made by the photographer i always find these insights really interesting when people get cancelled or get in trouble that they kind of absolve themselves of blame and say no i don't even do all the work it's that guy over there because if anything it kind of does a it kind of does several jobs at the same time it kind of exposes the smoke and mirrors of the industry where they sort of lionize the one singular genius person behind a brand when it's actually a team of people behind working they obviously demystify that whoever is at the top actual influence and touch on every single thing because then he says hey i just kind of organize the key components but the extra creative side and the sidelines or the fluff or the extra things to fill in that's not when people are on the set themselves because i'm not actually there that definitely does something or they expose it continues here the gift shot campaign was completely unrelated to the spring 2023 campaign they were shot in a different time one in october and the other one in july the campaign was also made to promote land of objects in relation to the end of year holidays it was a large variety of unrelated products which required a concept in which many different Different products could be shot together. Kidsway was part of the selection for the gift shop, as well as the plush teddy bears and referencing punk culture and DIY. Um, absolutely not BDSM, and they were worn by Adidas in October 2020. So she's pointing the finger at everybody rappers this person she saw that buying this mad based on this the image team proposed the photographer the photographer sorry for this campaign because early in the year they presented his work to me and i liked the composition of his pictures and then added the folder to potential talents to work with one day because the 
photographer's work um, often included a multitude of toys placed around the room with kids in the middle of it. We thought it would be a ideal and variety of products from the gift shop of the assortment into each picture because, you know, we can't make 1,000 images, sorry, 100 images for all of these different products. The, this is where our error comes in. It was a big mistake. Again, this is stuff that could have been said in the beginning that would have, I think, killed all the fur and the sort of like backlash that they faced. I think them basically closing down the Instagram, deleting all the comments and basically turning into one post advertisement for the longest time of that Christopher Balenciaga show, Couture show, where a lot of models are walking around elegantly and stuff and showing off their wares. That could have been done. That could have been killed easily. But again, he didn't do it. So what can you do? It continues there. It says, I didn't realize how, how inappropriate it would be to put those objects in the image. <laughs> it, it's probably worse if you say things like that because it makes you look even worse like an animal. It says, and still have the kid, and I still have the kid in the middle. Yeah, unfortunately, it was the wrong idea and a bad decision from me. We would not have featured kids in images that include objects, sort of objects that were not related to and appropriate to them. Nowhere, sorry, no one, myself included, raised a question of it being inappropriate. Those were extreme processes um, in place, people involved, internal and external but we just need to spot what we problematic this was an error of judgment i regret this a lot we learn from this now and there was going to be closer and more active checks and for this i want to say sorry i sincerely apologize for what's happened to anyone who has been hurt by it so this is a far more sincere apology than anything he basically read before he sorry um he wrote before one other thing that really thought was interesting regarding this was clearly this idea that I had before that Blanchard used the opportunity to kind of rein him in and get him under control because he was being a little bit too provocative, quote unquote, and trying to push buttons for the sake of putting brush in. So I want to see here where he speaks about going back to Zurich and basically designing clothes again because I thought that was really, really interesting. Um, let me see if I can find it here. Buh, 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 buh. So there's this really interesting bit also that I quickly went to mention as well that I thought can give you a bit of an insight into what we should expect from the show coming up. I think it's March 5th, um, the new Balenciaga show that will be debuting obviously in Paris Fashion Week. And it's this answer here that Demna gave to Vogue it's in, in terms of what he is going to be doing going forward under his role. And I think this definitely goes to show that my theory that the Balenciaga or the caring head honchos definitely uses opportunity, this scandal, to essentially rein Demna in and kind of get him under some sort of manners so that he's not making a spectacle or causing issues for their brand and essentially just going back to what he actually was hired for which was kind of having his finger on the pulse being able to kind of synthesize the cultural zeitgeist and obviously the most important thing just make really really good clothes because i think that definitely does get overlooked with all the kind of provocation and the glitz and the not glitz and glamour but just this the spectacle that he creates around the clothes and the constant poking and the fun making and whatnot and the conversations around in the think pieces and the show studio panel discussions what gets lost around that is that guy can definitely still design and you look at Vetemar era of Demna and it's all flipping amazing so for me this answer definitely is really telling so this is courtesy of Vogue it says here the question how is Ben Shark responding to all that's happened what initiatives are you taking guard are you taking to guard against imagery that could be deemed inappropriate how are you going to go forward so it says this it starts with reconstructing the image in the department establishing new rules and checks and validations that go through multiple channels internal and external for image to be checked and approved this is now a new image board which involves different sensibilities before it's released the board will give their opinion about an image <laughs> sensibilities mean different people of different races right um from different places and whatnot i just find that hilarious that you need to put together a board to basically decide whether or not you should be pushing you know pedophilic type images it's absolutely crazy in my opinion but hey what do i know it continues from my personal point of view as a creative director i would have to question absolutely every everything now i really changes my way of working which has previously been more in instinctive doing something that would seem to be maybe provocative just because i was thinking oh that's fun this is part of my learning i will have a more mature and serious approach to everything that i release as an idea and image i decided to go back to my roots in fashion as well as the roots of balenciaga which is making quality clothes not making image or buzz so essentially no more shit posting designs no more poking fun at the fashion glitterati and uh, you know media class and whatnot and the brands and the gatekeepers which i kind of hate because i love all that stuff that he did especially during the bevetsmart era that he was in 
but this does make a lot more sense and definitely goes back to what I said before that Balenciaga head honchos reigned the guy in. Next paragraph, learning from the mistakes also includes educating ourselves on the issues and contributing to the actual cause. We are partnering with a non-profit organization called the National Children's Alliance for the multiple year partnership, which I find absolutely amazing because it will help thousands of kids in the process of overcoming trauma and dealing with their mental health. It's one thing that makes me happy about this whole horrible situation to do something good about it. The funny thing is, is that the more quality clothes them are designed under the banner of balenciaga the more popular kids want the more it becomes popular and the more kids want to wear them the ones that can't afford them are going to be suffering from mental health issues because they can't afford balenciaga so essentially you're going to be creating issues for these kids in the long term then if you decide to put them on the runway put makeup on them and put them in cute clothes people are going to be saying that you're objectifying or sexualizing these kids by having them walk on an adult runway so i don't know how they're going to improve you know incorporate this kiddie approach to look after child well-being both physically and mentally without it coming across really tacky and really kind of cheesy but i guess you have to or no tacky cheesy and kind of like tone deaf but i guess in their position they've got to be seen to be doing something going forward but i do like i do like the most important part here was obviously this paragraph talking about how them is going to be focusing on the clothes and the clothes alone and nothing else and you can kind of get an idea of that if you scan over across to this um Demna Balenciaga's fan page which I love called Demnagram and they posted what looks like the invitation or flyer for the up and coming show which is happening on March 5th for the Winter 23 collection for Balenciaga and guess what it, it looks like it looks like the basis of what you do when you're pattern cutting a, a jacket right I, I forgot what the material is called but essentially it's the one that you use to basically put all the markings on and kind of uses a certain base template to kind of mark in terms of building your coat or your jacket that you want to put forward and this clearly shows to me an illustration of a kind of return back to tailoring a return back to making actual core interesting products again and focusing on the clothes and that's a glitz and glamour so we might not see any celebrities on runaway it might be more couture-esque in its approach it pared down simple focusing on what is important and kind of go that direction but i'm mean, eager to see the show regardless it'll be fine to see how the people in the media and the celebrities and whatnot react to it because a lot of them were you know getting on their moral high horse and condemning blenshug and saying they're not wearing that stuff anymore but the moment he puts out on the runway and a successor to the triple s's and another cool pairs of track twos or whatnot out on a runway the moment he puts together some great because i think he even says in the interview that he's going to go back to doing great jackets because that's what chris about Balenciaga was kind of known for right amazing jackets amazing coats and, and i imagine them also in my opinion is known for making really good thing hoodies and also amazing you know twist on kind of conventional mounting jackets or you know rain jackets anorak security ma1s bomber jackets in general he's a kind of master of that shit so i can definitely see some good things on the horizon for Blanchiago when he finally does take the runway on March 5th which I'm definitely going to try and live stream as well if I'm here I'm definitely going to try and live stream that because that's going to be fun to check out and see what's happening with that going forward